There were a couple of persons, literally a couple, who were fascinated by this snake that we were said to have had, but no one has seen it in many, many years. And as a matter of fact, another researcher said it's gone extinct. So they went to the island and lo and behold, they found a snake. These persons now made contact with other researchers, in particular from Fawn and Flora International. FFI was the first international conservation organization founded in 1903. We work to conserve threatened species and habitats worldwide, and we currently work in about 50 countries. In 1995, my organization was asked to come to Antigua to try and help save the world's rarest snake. A small number were discovered on Great Bird Island, a small island off Antigua. And in a way, it seemed like a second chance to save a species from extinction. A long time ago, the Antiguan racer used to live all over Antigua and Barbuda, probably numbering in the millions. But then, to help control the rat population, mongooses were introduced to the country, and the Antiguan racers very quickly died out, and the only place they survived was Great Bird Island. We reached out to Disney saying, hey, we think we can help bring this snake back. Disney said, we'd like to help. Once we started the project, we realized that it's very important to have accurate data on every snake because the population is so small. Oh, she's a nice one. All right, we actually caught this snake already in 2012. Okay. The last time we took her mass, she was 230 grams. She's actually Fresh grown a bit. Thing. There were only 50 Antiguan races when I first came to Antigua. Now, over the years, though, um, We've been able to help increase the population through the education programs we've been doing, through the restoration projects we've been doing. And the snake populations are now increasing. We've managed to reintroduce them to three more little islands off Antigua. And the numbers have climbed from about 50 to around about 1,000. We moved them up to Green Island, which is another island. We have quite a few other offshore islands, which is in the same area. I assist by moving the snake back and forth, and uh, sometimes I help catch them as well. As our project's grown, we've been addressing many of the other issues within this whole ecosystem, on the land and in the sea. We're not just working on the snake now, we're working on birds and on, on turtles and other things. We also restore ha habitats, so we've restored 13 islands of Antigua, and this is benefiting many, many other species. I hope that we can restore as many islands as possible so we can have a lot of the islands looking like great birds. Without Disney, it would not have been possible. I mean, we have a lot of committed volunteers, but still, we need material, we need equipment, and Disney was able to supply us with that, and we're thankful. Look at all the way up in the sky like a kite. Children are a really, really important part of this program. We like to go around schools showing them the Antiguan races and bringing them out to the islands and teaching them about the snakes and also teaching them about this amazing natural heritage. You guys with me? Yeah. All right. What we found is that it's easier to get the kids involved in environmental work because they're young, excited, they want to learn new things. And it's just great getting them to learn about their natural environment. So who has seen the racer before? Their eyes are staring. Look, those big eyes, they can't blink. They can't close their eyes. No, because they have no eyelids. They have no eyelids. So even when they're asleep, their eyes are wide oh, open. open. Just like this. With the Floating Classroom program, we're basically trying to educate the young children so that they can take those lessons through life and they go home and they tell their parents. Because we're the caretakers of the planet, it's important that we let future generations realize we have to take care of everything, even a snake. The, the race of snake is very, very rare. I think it's the only place you can find it in the world, in Antigua. And to keep that alive, that's something wonderful. <laughs>